Third paragraph is now going to be about pathos. And again, it says she effectively makes appeals. So notice she's using the organizational scheme too, where in your body paragraphs, you're going to be looking at how does she effectively use the three appeals. And then you're going to have separate paragraphs that deal with what's what are weaknesses in her overall argument? So this is about effective use in the beginning and middle sections. So remember this because when we get to that first uh, or in the second uh, weakness paragraphs, it's going to be important that we know where pathos uh, or where this, this problem occurs. So beginning and middle sections, pathos is effective. So here are examples. Uh, she talks about she was pregnant and so the analysis that the image she evokes are the challenges and vulnerabilities of being so pregnant, as well as the high emotion a woman feels at the time, effectively introduce the argument and its seriousness. And so here it is. Her goal is to make the reader feel sympathy for her. So there's why this works. You know, why, why is it a pathetic appeal? Then we have another way that she uses pathos. This is in these words, insisted, uh, argued, not fun, sucks, headachey, whatever. And so she says in her analysis, these are words that evoke negative emotions about cleaning, which make the reader sympathize the women who feel judged and shunned, very negative feelings. So look at how she's telling us exactly why this is working or how it's supposed to work. And then finally, she gives us a third type where she focuses on how Groves reinforces her word choice about the concept of fairness. So she gives us several examples. Again, just giving one here wouldn't be enough because she's saying that she reinforces that she does it over and over again, right? So you wanna give us two or three examples in this case. And then why does it work? Well, these establish the unfairness that exists when women do all the work and they are an appeal to pathos or the reader's feelings of frustration and anger with injustice. So there is why Carter believes, or Clark believes that this is working in Groza's article. So there's our three body paragraphs. Now in organization scheme two, we're going to have one to two paragraphs that talk about any problems with her rhetoric.